Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So lately I've been getting a lot of questions from people asking what's going to happen if Judge Benitez overturns California's so-called assault weapons ban? What's going to happen if he overturns the mag ban or overturns the roster? And when? When is probably the biggest question that I've gotten. When is he going to do this? People are excited and for good reason. So today we're going to talk about what happens if and when Judge Benitez actually strikes these laws down. So let's get to it. Now, before we get started, I just want to thank you all very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. It's free. It only takes a second. And that little bell notification, which will let you know when new videos come out. I try and post at least five videos a week, sometimes up to seven. So again, hit that bell notification. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's go and start off with when. People are really excited about this stuff. There's four big 2A cases currently sitting in front of Benitez. The Miller case, which deals with California's assault weapons ban, has, has already gone through the entire process. It's gone back to Benitez. He's you know already dealt with it once and said that it was unconstitutional. So we have a pretty good feeling that he's going to say it's unconstitutional again. And since all the arguments and all the information has been presented, and now it's just sitting on his desk waiting for you know him to come up with his answer, uh, people want to know when's that going to happen. Well, the unfortunate part about that is nobody knows when. It will more than likely be sooner than later. This isn't, some, isn't something that you know he's going to take a long time on. But for the most part, we're probably looking around maybe the next week or two. So I wouldn't say, again, this is my opinion, but I wouldn't say that this is going to go more than a couple weeks. You have to think about it. He, Benitez has already heard this case once before. He gave his order. He said that it was unconstitutional. Then Bruin happened. It got sent back down to him. So he had to kind of listen to the arguments again. He had to listen to the state's arguments, trying to come up with some type of historical analog that could prove that this law should stay in place. And the state failed to do that, in my opinion. I looked at all the information that the state provided. They were unable to provide a relevant historical analog that would prove their case. Whereas the, the people, the plaintiffs in this case, were able to even strengthen their argument further using Bruin. So really, in my opinion, I think his decision was already made day one. After he was done hearing everything, his decision was made. But you have to remember that he has to word this very, very carefully. It's not just something where you say, oh, well, I find it unconstitutional. Have a nice day. He has to look at every single word that he writes, how it's written in, in, you know, he has to look at everything when he's writing this order. These orders typically aren't very small. They're usually a, a long orders, right? So he's going to write this out and he's going to take his time doing so. He's going to probably write it out multiple times and, you know, look at it and analyze which one is going to be the most effective should it get challenged further. So again, it's, it's more or less now just a process of how he's going to write that order. I don't think that's going to take more than just a couple weeks. I think it could be even sooner than that. As a matter of fact, it could be any day now. I mean, that's kind of where we're at in this, in this process with Miller right now. It could be any day that Benitez decides to issue his order in this case. I don't think it's going to change at all. I think he's still going to find it unconstitutional. But again, it's all it all comes down to the way that he's going to write it. That's going to be the biggest thing that we can think about right now. So when I'm going to say no more than two weeks. Now, try and keep in mind that this is going to be one of the biggest post Bruin decisions that's come out yet. So he has to keep that in mind as well. So now let's go ahead and talk about what's going to happen if he decides to overturn all of these different things. So again, you got the roster, you got the band, mag band, you got, you know, the other stuff that's going on in California, right? Let's say that he finds all of these unconstitutional, which I actually think that he will. That would be a, a massive win, okay? Obviously, that would be something that would be heard across this country, and it would definitely get people's ears up. But does that mean that pretty much you can go out and do whatever you want, get whatever you want? More than likely not, unfortunately. Because we know California. We know that California loves stall tactics. That's kind of what they're, what the Ninth Circuit even did here by sending it back down to Benitez. They could have simply kept it at the Ninth Circuit and they could have, uh, you know, reheard it under the new, you know, the new rules that were set by Bruin and they could have just left it there. But as a stall tactic and a delay, they sent it all the way back down to Benitez. Well, why did they do that? Well, that means that California has another chance at yet another appeal. And more than likely, just given the fact that they don't want to see it overturned quite yet, that's what California is going to do. They're going to appeal it pretty much immediately. I'm sure they already have it written up and it's going to go back to the Ninth Circuit. Now, I don't think the Ninth Circuit has any other choice but to find that the uh, law in California, the ban in California is unconstitutional. If they don't, 
they risked this going up to the Supreme Court. I think the Supreme Court would hear this because it's been a pretty major case going for a long time. You have a lot of uh, indecision between the circuit courts, right? So the Fifth Circuit and the Fourth Circuit and the Third Circuit, Ninth Circuit, all these different courts have kind of issued different opinions on these types of bans. And I think that you might get some clarification from the Supreme Court if it went up there. Does Newsom want that to happen? I really don't think he does. I don't think that he wants to be the one responsible for a case like this, making it up to the Supreme Court, where if a Supreme Court, if the Supreme Court made a decision in this case and found that, you know, what California's law was unconstitutional, that would affect the entire country. I think that Newsom's going to try and compartmentalize this to the Ninth Circuit. And if he's able to compartmentalize it, which is, you know, any state that's covered under the Ninth Circuit, if this gets overturned, would essentially lose their bans as well. But uh, I, I think that's kind of where we're at right now. I think that it's going to get appealed, right? Which means we're not going to be able to jump out and, you know, get whatever we want. People in California won't necessarily have that freedom immediately. But I think that the Ninth Circuit isn't going to have any other choice but to say it's unconstitutional, stop it right there at the Ninth, and then everybody within the Ninth Circuit is uh, basically going to see their freedoms uh, reinstated. And I think what happens there is that the Ninth Circuit ruling is going to show some type of precedent to other circuit courts who have similar lawsuits that are kind of making their way around the system, and it's going to have a, a domino effect. I think that that's the that's what's we're, that's what we're going to see in the end here. I think the Ninth Circuit is going to rule this unconstitutional, and we're going to see that domino effect across the country. And every stupid state that has a stupid law like this is going to see theirs overturned shortly thereafter. So. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Again, I think it's going to be appealed almost immediately, meaning that Californians won't have their freedom back instantly, but it's going to go up to the Ninth Circuit, and the Ninth Circuit's going to have to rule it's unconstitutional unless they wanted to go to the Supreme Court, which I almost hope it does because then the entire country would be free of bans like this. But again, that's just my prediction. And from everything that I've heard, everything that I've seen, uh, you know, and every lawyer that I've seen talk about this out there has basically said that unfortunately, freedoms more than likely won't be restored instantly. I mean, there's a chance, don't get me wrong. There is a chance that maybe they just don't decide to appeal. You know, maybe they just decide to leave it as is. Maybe they don't want it to go up to the Ninth Circuit and they'll let that stand. And that'll be the end of it from there and it won't affect the entire Ninth Circuit. So Washington and other states and Oregon that have, you know, tried to implement the same type of thing wouldn't be affected by it generally under the Ninth Circuit. Obviously, they would have Benitez's order to use as precedent to try and overturn theirs later, but it wouldn't end up being such a big deal. So again, the chance exists that this could be it. But more than likely, and just based off of what I'm hearing from, you know, the professionals dealing directly with this case, we're, we're, we're going to have to wait for the Ninth Circuit. And that's what I think is going to happen. So we'll wait and see. But, I, I, you know, where and when and what? Those are very, very difficult questions to answer. Because, again, it's up to the judge in this case from here on out. So I think, if just to summarize, I think we're going to get a decision in the next couple of weeks. And then we're going to see an appeal almost instantly. In which case, we'll just wait for the Ninth Circuit now. So I wanted to let you guys know that for those people that are just wanting answers. Uh, I, I hope Californian and every other state in this country gets their freedoms back as soon as possible. And I, I will keep pushing for, for these things to be overturned. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys like, subscribe if you don't mind. Have a great day.